Hola mga vocalista, I am Nina and today I will bring you to the wonderful world of music. Let's go back in time from the medieval to renaissance to baroque period. Are you ready? Do, re, mi, fa, so, let's go! Welcome to the medieval period! Medieval period started in 700 and ended at 1400. It was also known as the Middle Ages or the Dark Ages, which was known to be the fall of the Roman Empire. When Rome fell, everything vanished and life became difficult. Because of the situation, the fate of the people paved way to influence of Christian Church, which created a great impact on Europe's culture and political affairs. Emergence of church music started through Pope Gregory I, who made monophonic plain chants famous, that is why later on it was known as Gregorian chants. These chants were originally transmitted orally, then later on scholars agreed to put it in notation. Let's listen to a Gregorian chant. we can notice that it can be characterized as monophonic, has free meter, modal, it's usually based in Latin liturgy, and it also uses Naomi notation or the basic element of Western and Eastern systems of musical notation prior to the invention of the five-line staff notation. Did you know that the Naomi notation was the first form of the music notation that we use today? Now you know! Welcome to the Renaissance period when the golden age of Greece and Rome was revived. The word Renaissance comes from Renitra, which means rebirth, revival, and rediscover. During this period, the invention of printing paved way to the accessibility of the printed music that made new musical genre rise. This development and music made secular music prominent. Renaissance era was also known as the golden age of a cappella choral music. Renaissance has the following characteristics. Mostly polyphonic, imitation among the voices is common, use of words, painting in text, and music. Just like this one. that the lute was the prominent instrument during this period? Now you know! Welcome to the Baroque period. It started from 1600 to 1750. The term came from the Portuguese word Baroco, which means pearl of irregular shape. It is an extension of the Renaissance period, but to a much greater level. Music were elaborated and ornamented as well as other forms of art. It is no doubt one of the richest and most diverse among the previous periods of music. Did you know that harpsichord and organ are the keyboard instruments that are commonly used during Baroque period? Now you know! 
Let's listen to a Baroque music. The following are the characteristic of Baroque music. Melodies sound elaborate and ornamental. Melodies are not easy to sing or remember. Primarily contrapuntal textures with some homophony. That ends our vlog for today. I hope you learned something from it. Once again, this is Nina, your vocalista. Bye-bye!